this, this. Good evening all, and welcome to Saturday evening. I am quite late because my brain is still in the shop, so let's see how hard a Mega Man X fan game can be. Starting now. Envy Tuber, VTuber, Automa Tuber. Bop, bop, bop. Get that out of the way. And then I probably should just get started to show how embarrassing this is going to end up being. Because now we're stepping into territories where I haven't played these games before, so I'm not sure if I can. Oh well, better time. No better time to learn, really. Um, hi there, by the way. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, was watching something and it admittedly got me way too focused. A good old bit of syndrome of just one more episode can't hurt. Now let's see here. Uh, what are my buttons for this? Uh, then we need this showing. And then we'll need that showing. <laughs> Looks a little bit awkward on the actual options screen, but that's fine. Alright, so... Obvious point of reference, this is based on the Mega Man X style of game, so if you've seen how those games are played, that is functionally what this is, just we are working on uh, the insane space rabbit with a gun, or at least the space rabbit who's done Maku or just bullets, so she may as well just have an assault rifle. <laughs> it does kind of work well for the options screen, that is kind of where I stole it from in the first place. Uh, I'm not sure how this will go, but for the sake of the stream, I'll put it on normal. <laughs> so, controls are a little bit weird, if I recall correctly. B is dash, A is jump, X is shoot, so it's kind of hard to dash and shoot at the same time. Nope, oh, crap. <laughs> Thankfully, you still have your buster shots as per normal. Nothing wrong there. There are going to be a lot of rabbits, so don't mind if we murder a few hundred Totos while we're playing this game, because they are literally everywhere and are the basic enemy of the game. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like it starts with X2. Okay. I mean, probably. If I recall correctly, this is a decently normal game. Or, not normal, sorry. Decently new game. <laughs> yeah, just a few Totos, it's fine. Like, as much as I would like to give more love to Toto... Oh god, there's fairies too. Go away. Oh god, nope. Oh dear. I'm gonna die before I even get to this tutorial boss. Oh, that's not good. Thank you. Nope. Nope. <laughs> and that's not a standable platform. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Oh. Nope. Just gonna take this at my own pace, hopefully. This is absolutely intense compared to X-Series Prologue. Uh, can you hold for a charge? Yeah, you can hold for a charge. It's nice having it immediately, so... That helps. Alright, this part. Um, What's the button for this? You remember you can hold the bomb button with three bombs in stock to activate a barrier. Right. Okay. So this is a tutorial segment, just to let you know how this shield system works. And I'm afraid, because this is in the tutorial. <laughs> and they want you to be doing that a lot. <laughs> there we go. Just I'm gonna keep firing. Screw you. I guess there is three points of the charge, too. That's good to know. 
Ow. Oh, you're a different fairy. Up. Yeah, just getting the basic ins and outs for you. It is kind of nice that the one thing that they give you in pure text is, hey, by the way, you can put up a barrier to save yourself from instant death. <laughs> Anyways, hi, Tui. I'm glad we have to encounter you to actually leave the village. <laughs> so let's see what we can do here, because I did go through this in the base tutorial, but not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> okay, right, I forgot this is still Toho, so there's Donmaku still. <laughs> and I'm about to die already. Whoop. Okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Death by Flying Rye, but is about what makes sense. Yeah, this is the tutorial boss, by the way. This is why I'm afraid of this game. Thankfully, it doesn't bore you with the overabundance of the... Go away. With the overabundance of extra text. Oh god, this is bad. Ah, fuck. Nope. <laughs> I really need to hit you more. There we go. Nope. 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 <laughs> Can't get a free one there. That's fine. And I think Buster shots are kind of intended because her iframes would make getting single shots off be a little bit difficult. Do do do. There we go. Bye bye, Tui. <laughs> yeah, they expect you to do some shit in this. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough, Ryson. Tui, I'm no intruder. Do you believe me now? Uh, I'm just messing with you. We do have a visitor, though. You're such a handful, you know that? I'll go meet him. Bop. So yeah, that is the tutorial stage. Oh, hey, it's, uh... Please give me her name? Saren, that's it. Has Earth been treating you well? Yeah, it's fun. Me and Ringo have been accumulating, or acclimating slowly. I even have my own Dongo stand, and... Wait, we have more pressing matters to discuss. It's an emergency. Uh, why? What's wrong? Didn't you receive the SOS messages from other moon rabbits? It seems like they were sent on a scouting mission, but had a crash landing and spread all over again, Sokyo. Oh, good. The rabbits are everywhere. That's exactly what people need. Ah, I'm no longer a moon rabbit, though, remember? Uh, so... That's why I wasn't able to contact you. Are you going to do anything about this? The Lunarians are up to something again. Uh, Reimu's going to chew me out if I don't. Of course Reimu is just going to be the one to chew her out. She's not even a moon rabbit anymore, but Reimu's just going to stomp up to her. It's like, hey, the fuck are all these rabbits doing here? Get them out. Go. <laughs> and no, never mind. I'll rescue them. Just let me know where the message is. Messages are coming from. So, pretty standard. You can at least get a rough layout about who we need to fight immediately, being Seki Bonki, Dreamy, Tenki, or Tenshi, sorry. The Phoenix girl whose name I can never remember. The not nuke bird, but another bird who can act like a nuke if you piss her off. Seija in the castle, Yugi, and Nue. This does technically work like a Mega Man game, so certain bosses will have strengthening weapons against other bosses, and I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to figure that out. <laughs> because these two are just based on fire, you can do whatever the hell you want, you exist in the dream world and you're dead. She exists in illusions and she punches people in the face and she's just here to cause tricks. So... It also looks like there's two pieces of items, or two items we need to grab per stage. I guess if this is like X, then it probably has the power-up armors and all that. I think just for the sake of it, I'll go for Sekibanki first. That is not Sekibanki. I feel like a fool now. Who the fuck is Ozaki? And why have I not heard that name before? 
Oh, I'm so fucked. Okay. Oh, there's mushrooms everywhere. Not a fan. Oh, God. How much health do you have? Oh, goody. Because that's what this game needs. Just touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Cool. Go away. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, well. Easy enough to avoid. Okay, nope. I guess I should okay. I was about to say I should probably be dodging more, but apparently the game's telling me to not do that. Oh, that's not good. Good enough. Whop. Nope. <laughs> oh, does this game have a live system? I don't know. You can go away. I don't care about anything that you do, Mr. Mushroom. Pop. Oh, there we go. Now, this will not be any form of speedrun. I can let you know that now. Mainly because if this is just stage memorization, there's no way in hell I'll be able to get that down on the first run. Oh. Hello, mush buddy. Oh. Well, I'm not cool with that respawn. Ow. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Go away. I can't technically get that. Oh. Fuck. I thought I was actually going to land on the corner. Okay. Yeah, it's Mega Man respawn mechanics. Spawn point goes off screen, enemy spawns. Yeah. That's why I need to be a little bit careful with this. Otherwise, we're going to have some extreme silliness that I can't properly avoid. Uh, that's the charge button. There we go. And then we do have bombs as well, apparently. So I need to figure out what those do. Nope. Please go away. Let's see. Can I actually get rid of you without hitting that? Okay, that works. Then there should be... An... Nope. There we go. Should be another mush buddy here. Okay. Hitboxes are at least about as faithful as Toho's are, so that might be a benefit for us. There we go. Thankfully, no pits yet, but... Oh, come on. Hmm. So what are they expecting you to do with that, then? Oh. Alright, fine. And of course, the health drops in the pit. Okay. Ow. Nope. <laughs> Thank you. That was needed. Sadly, I can't duck, so this is a problem. I can't even hit you. Hmm. Screw you. I should probably grab that. Nope. I frame without the touch fuzzy get dizzy, if at all possible. <laughs> yeah, thankfully there are... Oh, God, hi. Why do you have a chair? And why are you trying to hit me with it? <laughs> Isn't she, like, a semi-important character? Now I'm thinking on it. Okay. Nope. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Okay. At least it starts me over here. I think. No. I have to do that whole thing again. Okay. No life system, at least. That's good. Um. No. Don't like you little floating fluff balls. Go away. And definitely not a fan of the fairies. Oops. Oh, right. You can turn around. All right, so we've at least learned how roughly this all works. 
so nothing too bad there. Damn it. Oh, that makes it hard to actually see. Thank you. Let's see, we've got a mush buddy up here, so... Go away. And does that actually do damage to you? Because I haven't really been paying attention as to what the poison actually does to you. Nope. Ooh, nice, my ears don't count as part of the hitbox. Nope, not quite. And there. Cool. That works. Screw you, Mr. Mush Buddy. Alright, let's see here. Pop. That gives us three bombs at least, so not too bad. And I'm just gonna get rid of you, and I'm not gonna walk forward. Because that'll just spawn... Well, crap. Okay. I'm just gonna die from this, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Too close for comfort. Ugh. Okay, this is gonna take us a handful of tries. And I lose all the bombs, too. I guess because I'm restarting the level, so yeah, it makes sense. We'll figure it out, eventually. I just need to get better at how this style of game works, I guess. Mop. But I'm probably not going to be dashing all over the place. That just sounds like pain. Although I do kind of wish the charge shot was enough to kill those guys off. Nope. Well, that didn't work. Okay, nope. Would rather not die because of Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy. Oh, come on! Uh, one tip I can is charge when you're not spamming, so the first thing you do... Yeah... That is tech... That is good advice, for sure. It's just the issue of getting the dash jumps in there as a part of that becomes a problem. Ow. Like, it helps here, for sure. Then charge before we move, because the other one spawns there. I'm also wondering how much the charge shot actually does. I guess it does technically do more than one. It probably does three, knowing my luck. Oh. Let's see. Nope. And then you. Which I can't even get to unless I do this. There we go. Alright. So, Anger Rabbit. Hi. Or Lunarian, rather. Nope. That was bad placement, Jude. Try again. And the contact damage. I was doing better, though. Don't know who she is, and I'm not liking fighting her yet. And the fact that she's just the mid-stage boss is not a good sign. Womp. Womp. I wonder if that actually just gets you higher. And I guess, technically speaking, nothing is forcing me to kill these guys, is it? Aside from just when I take damage. Do-do-do. Because I'm pretty sure you can see the button presses I'm doing right now. At least fairly accurately. I don't know if I can actually catch when I'm pressing like all three of them at the same time. Oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> One. Two. Oh, crap. I guess that's why the holes are there. That also works. Wow, you did not leave any room there. 
<laughs> okay. There we go. Let's see. Okay, nope. Get over you. There we go. Alright, bunny time. Ow. Ow. Ma'am, you have a chair. Hmm. What is she actually hitting me with, though? I'm assuming it's a chair. That's really the best thing I can think of. Womp. No. And pop. At least it does help with them. Oh. Hello there. Let's see. I guess if there's a lot of mushrooms here, this girl's probably going to deal with something similar. Womp. Eh, that would be nice if I took damage. Not this time, though. Nice. Pop. Pop. And one more. Oh, well. Safe spot. We'll take it. No. No. And they definitely want you to worry about the dash jumping really early. Oh. Shit. I needed a dash before he got that off. You can go away. Then I'll charge one up for you. Nope. Wow, I got away with that. I mean, I'll take it, but... Nope. Nope. Ow. Oh. Hey, nice. We got her this time. <laughs> hey, perfect. Now let's see here. Oh. Wait. Oh. Hey, there's stuff up there. Hold up. I'll take it. Um, you just send out the flurry, so you're not a huge problem. I guess there's nothing special up there. Oh, that is rude. <laughs> Oi. Hey there, Nan. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully the evening's treating you well so far. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I want that. I'm currently trying to figure out how Mega Man X works. Ow, that does do damage. Why does that do damage and screw up the screen? Um, and I guess keeping an eye out for any hidden things? Hey, that works. No, no, don't want you. Definitely don't want you. Oh, that doesn't look fun. How do I hit those? I guess like this. Yeah, keep coming down. Let's see. Oh god, what is that supposed to be? What? <laughs> Um, I don't even know what the power is good for, but I guess it means this? It does not mean that. Okay. And that means I have to start the entire... Oh, no, not the entire level. Okay. That was weird, though. What is it expecting there? Oh, come on, get up there. Let's see here. Don't care about you very much, ma'am. Here. 
Let's see. Nope. <laughs> it's probably something you get from a boss you haven't defeated yet. Maybe? Yeah. Because this is the first stage we're doing. Because I don't know what stage order is for this game. <laughs> I probably should have just looked it up. But I guess I can just come back for stuff if I'm missing any of it. I'm just going to face tank through you, thank you. Ow. Hey, hell. Gimme. Let's see. I just want to take a look at it again. Because that's awfully weird of a setup. Come on, come down here. Let's see. Up. Mm. Mm. I guess that saves you from taking enemy damage. Hmm. State. Let's see. Yeah, Mega Man X games required you to backtrack after getting upgrades. Fair. And then stage order is usually only for boss weaknesses. Most Mega Man games require either this for 100%. Hmm. Okay. I would need something that gets me to go straight up then. And I can't imagine anything in the mechanics that it's taught me can deal with that. Ow. You can go away. I'll still take these three bombs though. Does shield help? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure the spikes still just straight kill you if you put the shield up. There we go. You can go away. I'll charge one up because you're here. Oh, no. Go away. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, either that or a weapon that can bring items back like a boomerang style. Yeah, that's a thought, at least. You can go away. Nope. And considering I have no idea what any of the weapons would be... Actually, Solace, you know a good chunk about Toho lore, right? You think maybe Nui's weapon would give us something for that? Maybe she has something to do with intang intangibility. Okay. Uh. Okay, that's a mechanic I wasn't really thinking would work. Okay. Depends if Nui allows you to use spaceships. Well, we're probably going to be murdering her, so I'm not sure if we'll necessarily need permission. Also, this one's probably going to suck because I have no idea who this is. <laughs> I let the girl go. Uh, but I just got my hands on a legendary moon rabbit. No way I'm letting this opportunity go. I'll give her back once I conduct some experiments and gather enough data. Uh, one or alive, you know. Alright, so is this going to be the same thing? I'm a Oh god, what? <laughs> Okay, so she's got crosses. Hi, ma'am. Uh, oh god, what the hell? Why does she believe in the power of god? Please stop that. I was not paying attention to my health. At least it starts us here. Okay, so she believes in the power of god. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Oh, God. So she can pretty much warp wherever those crosses are. Noted. And then she sends out two waves of... Okay, yeah, that's a bit tricky. Wait, what? Hello, ma'am. Okay, noted. She... Wow. 
Okay. <laughs> I guess this is just going to be guaranteed. Once they're past half, they'll do something. So keep an eye out. Noted. Ow. Okay, that was dumb. That's supremely dumb, Jude. Come on. Nope. Up. Okay, thought I could get away with that. Nope. So, in the halfway mark, she summons one where you last were, as well as one straight above you. So, I guess you can't, like, corner camp it. Oh, don't do that, Jude. You can't stand on the far wall waiting for her to port. Especially because of that exact reason. Oh. God, how do I deal with the three-way, though? I can see a safe spot on the wall behind her during that, so I'm gonna have to aim for that. I'm also realizing I didn't get, like, any side items or anything during this. Oh, Jesus. Oh. How did I get away with that? Guess not. Okay. Hi. Up. Oh. Okay. Aw. <laughs> and she gets me with that, too. I'm getting better, though. I just gotta get better at finding the sweet spots in that patterning. Because <laughs> that is not the most consistent patterning. At least the hoverboard is easy. The hoverboard is at least simple. Nope. That is not the sweet spot, Jude. Try again. Ow. Ah, damn it. Okay. I guess it's just an eight-way diagonal, so it's not the worst thing to figure out. Hmm. I just gotta keep a better eye on it, I guess? Ow. Okay. Oh, right, contact damage. That still applies. Okay. Hi, ma'am. I, I, sorry that I don't believe in Christianity. Can you stop summoning those things? <laughs> okay. That's fine. I guess it also just depends on what they do. Because we've had one instance where she just was religiously on the hoverboard. And now she's just constantly doing this. Oh, that was the most embarrassing round. Holy crap. I'm also going to have to figure out who actually has, like, regular Christian crosses as part of their kit. Jumping too hard. Get over here. There we go. Oh, I could have gotten away with that a bit better, too. Ah, damn. Up. She's probably getting close to the... Whoops. The three-way? Yeah. Ah, damn. There was a safe spot right... Oh, no, you can even see my mouse with this game. Okay, that's fine. There was a sweet spot right up in the corner, but I definitely didn't hit it in time. Up. No. Oh, that's bad. No. Nope. Okay, nope, too high. Up. Oh wow, she's already there. Okay. Ah, 
Oh, so close. Okay. Also, is my voice modulator on? No, I'm just peeking harder than usual. Okay. Let's see here. Still don't know who you are. Ow. Do. Nope. I would prefer to not get hit by the three-way. Ah, damn. Hmm. Okay, she knows that's my weakness now. She has to. <laughs> Whop. I guess I just need to figure out how to dodge that a bit better. Okay. Do do do. I very much worry for whoever the Wily of this game is meant to be. Oh. Nope, nope, that's Surfing USA. Okay. Ma'am? Oh. And I said that one was the worst one to die to as well. I can't even go back to get bombs. Okay. Well, just gotta try it. I really need to short hop when she does the cross explosion. And I'm just gonna die immediately. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. Oh boy. This is why I haven't played... I guess this is... Well, this isn't why I haven't played these games. It's better to say this is, should be mildly obvious as to how that I have never played this style of game before. Womp. Okay, nope. Does it perfectly follow me? I think it does perfectly follow my actual movement. Okay. Pop. Hmm. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, that only took us, what, like 15 tries? <laughs> uh, no way. My research. Now you should go to the moon and capture a moon rabbit there. I'm sure they'll welcome you with open arms. <laughs> Alright, so that's two bits of power. Oh! Okay, I don't actually get a weapon type. I guess not until I get that other P thing? That's concerning. Uh... Well, shit. I was hoping to actually get an ability there. Uh, just to see my curiosity, I'll go after Tenchi. <laughs> I don't really know how much better this will be, but sure. Hi, Tenchi. <laughs> Apparently you also stole a rabbit, and I'm not sure why. Let's see. I love how I even compromise the music with MMX like soundtracks. I mean, that is generally the idea, right? Just mix Toho music into whatever style and or genre that you need. That's kind of usually what you need to do, just to make any kind of fan game in this style work. Let's see. Alright, so we've got a little cubby. Hmm. Oh. I guess, yeah, climbing Yokai Mountain, this is bound to happen. Also, sub-boss? Oh, it's Iku. Hi. Oh, God. Hi, EQ. Can you calm down, please? Okay. I'm just gonna die to you, aren't I? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, EQ. This is why I want to do more research into you. Thunder God kind of sounds fun. Nope. Don't like you guys very much. Oh. Pop. 
Nope. Don't need you. Especially because you take that much health. Oh. Nope. Up. Nope. Okay. Gotta remember that I can't duck in this. And considering we're at a quarter health against this, probably not gonna happen. Nope. Didn't mean to die. Jump. So... That attack is gonna cause problems. How do you even dodge that? Hmm. I guess I'll have to look at it a bit harder. Uh, I don't like you. Pop. No, oh, bomb. Okay. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. I'm just going to avoid you. You can go away. And then... Okay. Figured I'd check just in case you dropped health. Anyways. Hi there. I guess technically I don't need to charge. That's embarrassing, Jude. Okay. So how do I fight Thunder God? Nope. Get rid of you. Okay, we drop health this time. Oh. Nope. Nope. Let's see. And we get a full health there. Aren't you feeling generous today? There we go. Alright, so full health. What can I do to dodge her attacks? Oh, she immediately goes for that. Um. Nope. Hmm. Ma'am, you do have other attacks, please. I know I said I need to learn it, but calm down. Hmm. I'm guessing Iku is a fan of Disco. Either that, or there's just some reference I'm not really getting here. Ow. Because I know you showed me before, Solace, that she has that little disco emo. That's just her pose that she goes for when she calls lightning, I guess? Whoops. Bomb. Okay. Bop, bop. Let's see here. In one of those fighting games, her win pose is just that pointing up pose. <laughs> Where do you stand with that? Um, I'm probably just going to die here. Because I don't know how to properly avoid more than three cycles of that. Uh, the lightning strike kind of goes with it. Yeah. I guess that does make sense, because if you're calling lightning, you may as well just point up to the sky and be like, hey, listen to me, please and thank you. You can go away. Don't care about the boulders as much, mainly because my hand is hurting holding X the entire time. Pop. Nice, we'll take it. Then you can go away. Hmm. Oh, she actually went for the lightning strike. It's actually going for it a lot more. Okay, that is not the opening. Oh, hey, I dodged it. Cool. Ow. Bye bye, Iku. I think. Oh, she's not done yet. Okay, noted. Wait, what? Why is Aya here? 
Go away! <laughs> or is that just a Tengu in general and not... I think that's just a Tengu in general. I don't think that's just straight Aya. Also, yeah, that does put you back here. That hurts. Nope. I do not like your existence, Blue Fairy. And you're still alive. <laughs> uh. Give me that. Out of curiosity, what does a bomb actually... Oh, it does that. Okay. Fair. Pop. Let's see here. I am doing so poorly at a... Ow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just need to not suck as hard. Okay. I guess it would be better if I just try and avoid that one blue fairy. Because it's not that hard to avoid her. Although I am losing out on bomb fodder by not killing anything. Let's see here. Although those little fluff balls don't really seem to want to give you anything. That's fine. Nope. Alright, Iku, let's try this again. Immediately going for that, huh? Nope. Ow. Nope. Also, nope. <laughs> There's the lightning call. No, nope, I'm in bad position. Well, we got past her. For now. Screw you, Tengu. Uh... Oh, there is something here. Okay. Oh. That doesn't look nice. EQ. <laughs> okay. That hurts. And that's just going to put us right back to the start, isn't it? Yep. Okay. They were nice last time. They're not being nice this time. Okay. Nope. Good boy. I guess then I just need to do more dash jumps to get through that quicker? Nope. You're not dead. That seems a little bit mean, I'll be honest with you. There's that. Ah, damn. Ah, uh, darn. Thought that would be enough. Ah. Nope. Uh. There we go. Holding charge is a difficulty reducer, but I guess it might eat your thumb if you're not used to it. Yeah, that's kind of the issue. <laughs> Because I'm trying to use my thumb for, like, everything in this little bottom triage here. <laughs> so having this closed down at the same time does make it a little bit awkward to do anything. Well, Admittedly, I'm still not 100% certain why I chose a Mega Man X game when I haven't played any of these before. <laughs> Especially in a franchise that likes making everything harder in the first place. Please die. Whop. Alright, Iku, I'm here at half health. Let's see if I can actually do this. <laughs> I guess technically I can wall climb, can't... Oh no, I can't even jump off the walls. Okay. I can't wall climb here because Iku is fighting in an open field. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, that's because I twitched back. Okay, that's fine. 
Nope. So, can I not? I can dash in water. Well, this is mostly a learning experience, so I'm going to try not to complain too much because this is just how these games are designed, and I just need to get used to them. Although, if there is anything that you might notice might be a bit bullshitty, just you're free to call it out. I honestly just don't know. I've seen speedruns of the Mega Man S game. That's about it. What? Well, let's see here. Hello. No, oh, no. She's doing the disco spin. Gotta move, dude. Ah, damn it. Nope. Damn it. There we go. Four pings of health, at least. The design of this game is bullshit in the shot density. Normally, these games rely on chipping you away with enemy collisions and you can kill. There we go. Oh, well, I've at least learned there's health down here, but now it becomes a problem of what do I do with this? They're kind of generous on that respect. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Slow and steady, I guess. But considering Iku isn't dead yet, I'm a little bit worried because Tenchi is the main boss here. Where's Iku in all this? Oh. Hello. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> At least that one wasn't really hidden. That one was just kind of existing. Nope. I would have honestly been a little bit salty if lightning just struck there. Oh god. Oh, bomb. Gimme. Nope. Now what are you going to do to me? Oh, please don't tell me Tenchi fights in the- Oh god, it's Deku again. Okay, the second fight might be easier, and it looks like that's where we start. Okay, I guess you just have to make it across her ravine the first time, and then you're good. Fair enough. Well, that works. But what else does she have in that phase? Because electrocuting the water, yes, makes sense, but... What else are you about to do, DQ? Nope. Nope. Fuck those things. I can't even hit you. Okay. And she can chase you the entire way because the Tengus are fast. Okay, noted. Do do do. No. Thank you. Ow. I would love it if you little guys dropped health. Because you're a lot easier to kill here. Tengu or not. Ow. And then you. Do not like little fluff balls. They can honestly go die in a hole. Also, what? 
Oh, good. They can just fire in whatever direction you're facing. Good to know. You have to be quick on the Tango. Womp. Up. Ow. Let's see, there should be... No? I was about to say there's something up here. Oh. There we go. Up. One thing in this game's favor is it doesn't have limited life system like a Mega Man. Yeah, I guess that is kind of the benefit at least. So I don't have to worry about game overing too easily, and then it functionally just becomes a trial and death game. Thank you. You can go away. And where's little Fluffball at? Hmm. Okay. So, how do we do this then? Ow. Okay. Oh, she does still do this on top of that. Okay. Do I just have to lead her to throw that onto... Damn it. Okay. I guess if I lead it onto the lily pad, it won't shock the water? Which makes sense, I guess? It probably still does. I might be misreading that. Um, also, our hitbox does seem to be, like, her waist area or so. From what I'm noticing so far with Ryson's hitbox. Um. Oh, this is bad. Give me that. Let's see here. So we've got you. And then I think that's it. Yeah. Now it's just figuring this out. Ow. It is hard to read that. Nope. Ow. Ah, damn it. Okay. I wonder if I still get that slowness from the water whilst on the lily pad. There we go. Canonically, the Ryson's ears may be prosthetic, like police use clip-on ties so they can't be grabbed. It's implied that moon rabbits have their ears amputated? Oh god, that sounds so awful. I guess it makes sense, though. With Bryson, isn't there some form of, like, PTSD with her as well or something? Because she's always treated like she's insane. At least to some degree. Oh, come on. Go away. There we go. Gonna take that. Thank you. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's more embarrassing. She's a deserter. She ended up on Earth after fleeing the Battle of the Moon. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Ow. 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 There we go. Please don't tell me there's three rounds with her. No. Let's see. Hey, there's some health. Hmm. 
Well, we found her. <laughs> okay, no, not three rounds with EQ. Just two rounds with EQ and then Tenshi, but I'm... What is this arena? Hey, crap, it's you again. You, rabbit, came to retrieve your friend. Uh, something like that. Well, too late. She's mine now. What? Why? Because uh, I said so. Entertain me and I might let her go. Yay. Let's see how Tenchi fights. Okay. The boulder. Makes sense. Looks like I can stand on them. Oh! That makes sense. That is going to be awkward as all hell, though. Okay. <laughs> and I have to watch this cutscene every time, don't I? Okay, that's why you have the rock. And you can... Oh. Oh, God. Okay. That could be a problem in the future. Ow. That's at least easy. Okay, so the bullet pattern off the rock isn't too bad. I just need to pay attention to rocks fall and the party dies. I also probably should have charged up a shot before going in here. Okay. Okay. Ow. I also gotta stop jumping on those. Oh good, that can still go out. Damn it. <laughs> okay. She has a distinct advantage if she can get a rock fall while I'm jumping. Also, I am noticing that fact that I probably can't jump off the walls here. So this is inherently harder just because of that. Nope, that was my face. I cannot hop on those ones. Okay. Makes sense. Nope. <laughs> I know what's coming with that, Tenshi. I know you've got that ridiculous sword. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I figured I was going to clip my ankle. Okay, fair enough. Let's see here. What can we do about Tenshi? This is going to be bad, isn't it? When she bursts those, I am so screwed. Case in point. Oh, no. Got to remember that I can't double jump. No. I really got to pay attention to that fucking sword. Ugh. That's like her main defining weapon. I should really notice the sound off that. Oh. Okay. Nope. And that does not block the sword either. Good to know. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, so she can stack them up to three as well. That's dangerous. Oh god. Okay. So if I let her stack them up to three, that's basically just a screen clear, so I'm taking a hit off that. One is fairly easily dodgeable. Two is not. Nope. Uh, nope. Okay. I somehow avoided that. I mean, I'll take it, but... Damn it. I thought she would have gone for the sword there. 
I wonder if she goes for the sword only when three of them are out. I'm not sure about that, though. Nope. Nope. That's an immediate problem. Pop. Wait. Damn it. Oh. Pop. Okay. You really gotta jump, girl. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Why was Tenchi easier than the other person? Tenchi is a god. Hey, uh, had enough yet? Uh, I'll get that grin off your face as soon as I get up. Uh, yeah, better get out of here before that happens. Yay. <laughs> so then, yeah, that is the two keys from there. Okay. Not too bad. Uh... Who would actually... Okay, so the power-ups are not a thing in this. This is just rice and... Oh, wait. I forgot about this. There's a shop to use those P items. Ugh. Okay. I actually have to look at these. I forgot this game had a shop. So increase max health. I can charge faster, which might honestly help. Starting bombs wouldn't hurt. Bullet erase. Delete nearby bullets every time you use a bomb. So, like most Toho games. Use a bomb right as you get hit to negate any damage. Not bad. Lunacy Seeker. Influence the direction of your bullets by holding up or down. Oh. <laughs> and then while low on health, dashing grants complete invulnerability and shots deal more damage. Ha. Huh. I think I'll just take the general faster charge for now. I'll take two of those. And then... Oh. Apparently I can only get two charges with that anyways. Okay, that works. So yeah, that's why you collect the P items in this. It's so that way you can actually upgrade Raisin's capabilities. Alright, well, let's see what Dormi's got. I like the big hat. The big hat suits her. Oh god. Is this- oh god, why? <laughs> Dormy, why? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> Taking that. Nope. <laughs> oh god, what the hell? <laughs> If I wanted to play side-scrolling Toho, I would have played the side-scrolling Toho game. Oh god. Why? Stop that! Oh, that's bad. That's supremely bad. Do, do, do. Nope, apparently you can't die. Noted. Oh. Okay, noted. The faster charge is at least nice. I just need to recognize when that actually goes off. Alright, Sans, let's see what you got. <laughs> I at least have some practice with side-scrolling shooters, so... 
Not what I was expecting from Mega Man X, though, I'll be honest. Damn. Nope. Nope. Oh, there's health there, too. Oh, that works. I guess these guys die kind of easily. Okay. Um, this is fine. This is more like the last stage of Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah, I I'd say that's about right. Um, I know there's a sweet spot, but I definitely... Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. Okay. <laughs> the last stage of Sonic and Knuckles, you get all Chaos Emeralds? Yeah, that sounds about right. Just with Toho level difficulty. Well, does this mean after this I'm going to have to play the side-scrolling one? That Azure Reflections one? that you suggested, that I own? No. Oh, sweet, no. That did not work out as efficiently as I would have wanted. Okay, the hitbox is not quite as tiny as I'm thinking. Ow. Hmm. I'm relying too much on being able to heal during these. Okay. Up. Up. There we go. Get rid of you. Oh, nice. There we go. That works. Like, all of you got away with that. Pop. Nope. That's fine. Gonna take that. I'll take that. Okay. Ow. Okay. Don't like the look of that screen. Oh well, got it. <laughs> So now we just gotta beat Dormy. I was wondering where they were gonna hide it if the stage was a side-scrolling shooter, to be honest with you. Ow. Oh god, don't flash the screen to white when there are white bullets on screen. Wow. Okay. This is a Toho game, dude. It's going to be hard. Get used to it. This stage is evil, but I'm honestly just thinking the entirety of this game is evil. So I'm going to have to just get used to these kinds of patterns. Well, <laughs> it is the Toho game. That is true. Welcome, by the way, Liz. <laughs> is this the Toho game you would imagine when I said this is the Mega Man X game, though? <laughs> This is Dormy's stage, by the way. Oh, I need that. Um, I'll take that. Does it let me keep the power pill? Yeah, this pretty much lines up with that mental image. 
I don't know if Mega Man X ever has anything that makes you actively go through space. Give me that. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, but how goes things, Liz? Night treating you well so far? This is bad. That was super bad. I didn't even get the bomb for that. Up. Uh, yes. No. Okay, I'm not getting that. Oh, dear. Damn. Wait, what? I got an achievement for dying so much? <laughs> oh, game, you shouldn't have. <laughs> the art of dying color 6 unlock. That's just mean. I hope that's Chierno's color or something. You go away. Yeah, that's the kind of game we're dealing with, apparently. Nope. Nope, those are both just bombs. Womp. Okay. That's a few extra bullets. Noted. And they seem to toss out their thing as soon as they die, or as soon as they fire it off, so... You can't even just clear enemies out. You have to just dodge everything. Um. Okay. Oh. That's mean. Okay. Honestly, I'll take that. Mainly because I'm really bad at getting the hitbox in between all of that. Okay, yeah, it does let me keep that. Cool. We're at the halfway point, by the way. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. Oh, no. They have just a specific thing that they fire upon death. That's nice. Grab that. Also, what is this? Dormy, what is your sadistic problem? <laughs> I think we might have found her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn. Okay, we're at least on flat ground for the Dorami fight. Thank you. I like in that parallaxing too, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, what would a moon rabbit be doing here? Uh, did you bring her here, Baku? <laughs> Apparently, yeah, I did nail that first try too. Oh, geez, that was unintentional, but I guess I went quiet for it just so I could make sure I got past it. Yeah, she ran here herself. Possibly just to get back to the moon, unaware that this isn't the right passageway. Eh, uh, is that so? Uh, can I have her back then? Eh, uh, sure, go ahead. Really? Uh, by all means, escort her back safely. Ah, uh, I guess I'll be on my way then. Non? I still remember... Come on, girl. Just just let her rest. Don't piss off Dormy, <laughs> please. Ugh, not. I still remember what you made me go through, dragging my clone around and all. I got punished for that. Rei-san? <laughs> Sorry, I was going to say Remu and then I stopped myself. <laughs> Unless I'm still saying Rei-san wrong. Uh... So, oh, those kind of shields for her. Okay, noted. 
Can I break these? I can. Okay. But is it not Re? Or is Rei pronounced differently than I'm thinking? To be fair, her name is always the one I end up spelling wrong. <laughs> Honestly, fair. Some of these names are not going to be the easiest to figure out. Okay, so those need to die. Okay. That seems a little bit rude, ma'am. Can you not? Ma'am. Oh, right, I don't have any bombs. Make sure you've got your race on headphones in hand. Whoops. Okay, this is bad. Nope. <laughs> Ray Sen. Oh, Ray Sen? Really? Why does it have A N then? Oh well. Nope. You don't go for your extra ammo right away. Okay. Nope, not quite. Oh, it is spelled Raysen? Da da da. Apparently I can just juggle her a little bit just to get rid of her extra shots. Oh god, what? <laughs> okay, I apparently got her past the halfway point. I can't jump over all of that. I, the on was a goof on my part. Okay, fair enough. And I'm a little bit focused, admittedly, trying to figure out how I beat the Baku. So I'm just going to blame it on the fact that I'm not entirely focused on chat. She does seem kind of easy. You just gotta deal with her balls first. Because... Ow? I'm probably gonna need to get better just jumping over her. Okay. And what do I do with that? I guess that's just her halfway attack, so sure. No, nope. get out. Get rid of these. Ah, fudge. Okay. Still, we're getting it, but I don't know if charged shots are super useful against her. Because I can't pierce through the dream bubbles at all. And it almost just feels like I need to mash through them. I do also need to get used to dash jumping more. Otherwise, this happens. Hey, okay, get out of there. Nope. Don't have iframes during that. Okay. Uh. Okay. Up. I guess I had enough of a crouch there. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Where do I stand during the transitionary attack? Hmm. That's a hard one. Oh well, this game at least knows to not repeat the excessive dialogue over and over again. Okay. Okay. Dormi, screw you and your balls. Apparently this is still decent against her, though. Just kind of spam firing. 
Okay. But then what do I do there? Come yeah, on. Uh, this is bad. Get over here. Oh. This is bad. Yep. <laughs> you need to stand off the screen, apparently. Yeah, standing off the screen would be handy. Sadly, I'm not a space goddess. I'm just kind of a disgruntled moon soldier. God, I hate these things. Look, if I have to just mash to get rid of these, I'm fine with that, but... Just... Ow. Go away. Ow. Uh, here? Okay. I must have to, like, dodge in between them or something, because there is not a safe enough spot for that. Pop. Ah, damn it. Okay, I was trying to charge the shot, but probably shouldn't have. Okay, getting there, though. I just gotta figure out that transitionary attack. That one, there is a dodgeable spot in there. I just don't know what it is yet. Oh, screw you in your balls. Up. Ow. Because obviously there... But what do you do on that second mid-barrage? Hey. Ah, damn it, I jumped into that. Okay. Hmm. What in the world do I do there? No. That's just silly. Please stop that. I guess... T oh. There were a couple off-screen, apparently? So apparently she can go off-screen. That's not a dash jump. Hmm... Wait, you can graze? I'm not sure. I guess? Did your dodge negate a shot? I don't know if it negated it, but I think your hitbox does actually go lower when you're dashing. So, I guess I can dash under some of the attacks if I need to. There we go. I'd prefer it if you don't summon that to your face. Ow. Oh, there was one hiding down there. That would have sucked if that was the one I died to. Whoops. Hi, Dormy. You want to choose a position? Alright, well, here comes the transition area. Attack. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you can graze, technically, but... Um... Yeah, still don't know what to do with that. There's probably a safe space you can jump to, but... That's a hard one to figure out. Because you can't short hop. Short hop will make you hit the middle one. Hop. Nope. 
you know, you can just summon your balls too if you want, Dormy. Okay. Girl. Nope, can't dodge those. <laughs> I can graze by those bullets relatively easily, but that part, not so much. And there's this. It must be just jumping over them, because I'm not seeing a safe spot in the middle. And then she can just get me with contact. <clears throat> and then that's a mechanic from the fighting games. Hmm. Well, I'll have to keep it in mind to see if I can actually get it, but I'm not 100% certain what's happening yet, to be honest with you. Nope. Okay, Dormy. I get it that you're a ballsy one, but... Plop. Plop. I'm surprised you're not at the halfway mark yet. Okay, I was about to say, like, you're right there. Damn it. Ay, she summoned that back at just the right time. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've got at least half of this figured out, but this is just an effort of execution at this rate. And trying to figure out the proper methodology for the balls. You also can't seem to flinch her. Which is interesting. Nope. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Boy, okay. Hey there, Nano. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> what is that pose? <laughs> Dormy, what? <laughs> Okay, she's just chillin'. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Oy. And Nano, you little soon. Honestly, fine, though. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully the night's treating you well so far. Uh, dream selves aren't just clones, you know. Uh, that clone was still you, in a sense. And with that said, she was in a lot of pain. It's unhealthy to keep so many feelings bottled up for so long, you know? I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Goodbye, Dormy. Alright, so that's three done. Still not 100% certain how to get that other point for here. Unless there's some weird hidden thing. And I guess just for completion's sake, we'll go after the Phoenix. Moku. Or Moko. I'm not sure how you actually pronounce that. Either way, this is probably going to hurt more than Dormi is, to be honest with you. But there will still be some rabbits here. So, fair. Hmm. Am I going to be... Oh, wait, Kaguru? Okay, the were people are here. Noted. I guess we did technically have the Tengu it. Oh. Hi. I'm down here. Oh. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay, this is gonna take a second. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye, Toto. Oh, hi. You have surprisingly more health than I figured you'd have. There we go. 
Oh. Thank you. Oh, you're not done. I'll take that. Take that. And is the mid boss actually going to be Kagadu, or are they just putting her here as a generic enemy? Ow. Hmm. I'm going to assume that secret walls aren't going to be a thing, but. Okay. I'm just gonna do this. It's really hard doing this with the actual shot button held. You can go away. Let's see. Are these bottomless? I'm going to assume so. Wouldn't be a Mega Man game if there wasn't just a flying stage, so... Although, this isn't even the flying character. That's gonna be Sage, isn't it? Okay, I wanted to check just to see if anything was down there. No, that is basically just the bottom of the screen. Now. Bop. Oh, hi. Oh, wow. You've got a lot of health. Oh, but how are things, Nano? Hopefully you're able to get some stuff done tonight. It is a night to at least be productive. Nope. That's mean. Pop. Oh. Although, good use of Kagado. Just got Solace's fan art done. Ooh, very nice. Oops. No, oh, I was not paying attention. Hello, little wolf. <laughs> well, yeah, go ahead and show it then, Nano. You know art's allowed to be shared here. Mm. Pop. Unless it's in Solace's chat mainly, which also fair. Up. Goodbye to Bunny Boy. Oh. Ripper Doc? What? Ooh. Well, that's a new character. Is that the villain of your story, Solace? Goodbye to you. Because I can imagine him just coming by and telling you how a blender works. And can partially imagine him with Gordon Ramsay's voice. <laughs> you haven't shared any details about that? <laughs> well, you better start sharing it now. Because if Nano's got the fan art out for you. Uh, mid boss? No. Interesting. No, okay. Wasn't sure. You can go away. Oh, shit. Take that. Let's see. Ripper Docs in Cyberpunk Universe is like a doctor, but they deal with implants. Ooh. Well, implants are always fun to fuck around with. You can go away. Let's see here. Sorry, Toto. Need you to go away. Only enough room in this game for one rabbit. No, that looks like it's intended. This also looks like it's intended. What? Ow. 
Ow. He can go away. What is the point of the top path? Is this just easier because I know how to dash jump? Yeah, okay, it is hidden up there. Okay, good to know. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh wait, this is actually a halfway point. Okay. I didn't even think about that. Oh crap. <laughs> Gotta remember, bottomless pits here. Here we go. Just want to make modernized Sala so he can catch up with Lucy and Mira. <laughs> oh, that works out quite well. I'm trying to imagine Solace in Cyberpunk gear, though, and I kind of like the idea. Okay. And I'm just trying to imagine him with some form of Taser built in there as well. I'm gonna take that. Unboomer Solace. <laughs> I mean, you don't necessarily need to unboomer him. You mainly just need to get him with the times. So just upgrade the jukebox to a Bluetooth speaker and you're good. There we go. All right, let's see here. Got it. Cool. That wasn't too hard. But it does seem like all of these are grabbable without any weird upgrades or anything. But how do I deal with that then? Hmm. I'll have to go back to that one girl stage just to figure out some way of dealing with that. Because I don't think I'm getting a power up that helps with that. Oh, hi. Hmm. Oh wow, I'm out here already. It's so warm. The eye drops I use are warmer than I am. Oh, that's nasty. Uh, it is still pretty bad here as well, even with the AC on. But I do have it set at like 21 right now. 21 Celsius which I think is around uh, either high 70s, low 70s, roughly. Maybe lower. That Moko, give that Moon Rabbit over to me. And never mind her, I just want to rematch uh, Raisin Chan. Raisin. Raisin Chan. Huh? And don't tell me you forgot. You already beat me twice. Let's see if it's the third time's the charm. Oh, will you let that girl go if I accept? Eh, that's up to you, isn't it? Eh, don't hold back. Alright, so I know that she is the phoenix, so how bad can I expect? Oh dear god. Okay. Hi, Captain Falcon. How do you feel like fighting today? Nope, that was a bad time to jump. Nope. Okay. She's apparently easy. Okay, that's what I was thinking. That was way too fucking easy. Uh... What? <laughs> Excuse me? Ma'am. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so she's actually got two phases. Does she start in phase two immediately? No, she does not. Okay. How the fuck do I touch that screen-wide thing? Whoops. Whoops. 
Oops. Uh. Nope. Oh, cool. That actually connected. And. Ah, damn it. I am not surviving the second half. Uh. Now it just becomes a question of what do I do? No, nope, can't do that. Okay. So I just gotta figure out the other one then. Let's see, just stopping by to say hey and then gonna go in because trying to eat, but it's hot. Honestly, fair Jasper, please take care of yourself. The heat is probably going to do most of us in. Does it have to hit the wall? Nope. Don't jump on that. Um. Don't jump unless you need to, dude. She makes it kind of obvious when you need to. Ow. There we go. Alright, so... You can obviously dodge half of them just by stepping in between them. It's just those middle ones that I'm unsure about. Up. Nope. Move. So not too bad. Pop. Aw. Uh -huh. That would have been perfect. Oh well. <laughs> so let's just put your eye drops in the freezer. <laughs> Honestly, that kind of would work, but I'm not sure how badly those would actually freeze, to be honest with you. Uh, I went and did it again. How often do you set the forest on fire? Only when I'm super excited. That was fun, uh, Reisen Chen. I take the girl and go. I'll, I'll deal with this. <laughs> okay, well, at least she was honest, at least. Also, did I get both from there? I did get both from there. So, there's nothing in the shop that gives me invulnerability, is there? To negate any damage. I don't know if that... I don't know about that. Okay. Going back here, though. Yeah, don't worry. Okazaki. You're going to the Forest of Magic, so she lives there. So how does this work? Oh, this totally hooks. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot hookier. It has the Death Bomb mechanic? Yeah, it does have the Death Bomb mechanic, which is pretty interesting. Okay, this is actually kind of handy. <laughs> Solace is super support, can triage heal. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely not a bad thing to be as terms of class, so. I think I'm safe from touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Let's see, river docks are also kind of healers, they're just darker. Ripper Docs kind of just sound like the kind of guys who would take the lung out of someone else, plop it in your body, and just kind of sew it in and be like, okay, we're good. Next patient. Ow. And... Wop. Wop. 
I need to get to actually playing Cyberpunk now that you can run it. <laughs> Probably wouldn't hurt, yeah. And I'm assuming by this rate, the patches on it make it pretty easily playable, so you don't have much to worry about either. Up. Alright, now I just gotta deal with the angry child. Ow. I gotta get better with that chair. Oh, no. Also, why? There we go. Homing shots? Oh, not quite homing shots, no. Uh, I can physically control where they go now with just the up and down. So you'll notice that when I'm stutter stepping, that's because I'm trying to control where they go. <laughs> Whoops. I'm just gonna die trying to get these, aren't I? Pop. Game's quite stable comparing to the original state. Honestly, fair. Okay, yeah, this puts us here. That's fine. Here. Please get up there. You can go away. Thank you. Go here, Jude. I am so sorry for the screen flutter during this. I cannot hit this hole to save my life. Let's see here. Oops. Oh. So no more vaulting through a window and ending up falling through the world? <laughs> I mean, that sounds about right, but I'm not 100% certain. Here, here. All right, so now we're here. And here, I'll take that. go. Hmm. How do I do this? Okay, so Death Bomb does not work on that. Noted. The shield didn't work for us either. Oh, that does put us all the way back to here. Okay. There we go. You can work around that by not skipping rides. <laughs> Pop. Oh, I guess that means I can help. Well, apologies on the uh, screen, just nonsense. There we go. Touch as you get dizzy is gone. Wonder if it has anything to do with those. Womp. Oh, yeah, also I probably should mention Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy is a mechanic from Yoshi's Island 3, I think? I don't remember which one it was, but it's functionally you touch a puffball and the screen just looks like a drug trip. It is what it's called. That is what the song title is when you get that status effect in that game. Well, 
And if I can show it, I would like to. I wonder, actually. Uh, can I taunt them up here with me? And can I iframe through it? I need them actually up here. Okay. Close shoot, try again. Come on, move over. Okay. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay. I think that's the idea. Kind of random, but what's your stream bit rate? I'm pretty sure I'm set to 3200, but I could be wrong. Pop. Yeah, sorry, Solace. I was just testing the idea. I think I figured out how you're supposed to get that to work. Because you'll notice the iframes. If you have iframes, then spikes don't kill you. So my thought is I need to taunt those fairies upstairs and then have them hit me once, and then I can do the jump off of the spikes to get past it and then just get the P. Let's see. 5,000 is mine. Honestly, I can't... I don't know if I can actually check right now. No, I'm thinking on it. Oh, OBS does not like me opening the settings during this. May have killed stream. OBS did not like me opening the settings. So unsure if you can see anything. Oh, can you actually still hear me? Or see me, for that matter? Because I'll be honest, I don't know if you can even see me. Because OBS is just straight frozen right now. Okay, so it's killed on Nano's end at the very least. Whoops. I pressed the wrong button, apparently. You can see and hear. So I guess it's just Nano's connection screwing up then. I might need to force close OBS though. Because it is currently frozen. Or we can just keep going with this, but I can't see anything. <laughs> uh, well if it's going... You asked if I can hear you when I said no. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Wow, that took it forever. Uh, where would I check that, actually? Now I'm thinking about it. Pop. That's file name formatting. Video. Output. Okay, yeah, bitrate is 5,000. How did you actually figure that out, Solace? Is there something on the stream that would actually tell you that? Oh, no. I don't need gay vision times. Oh. You're a wizard? <laughs> well, you are in fact a wizard. Or at least a sorcerer. Uh, this button. There we go. Oh. That works. I'm telling you, Solus is Ripper Doc. I mean, if he was, that's not inherently a bad thing. Alright, so. Get rid of the shot for one thing. That's making this a lot harder than it needs to be. All right, so I need to get past them, for one thing. All right, now follow me back up. Uh, 
Doop. Doop. Crap. Alright. Keep coming. I made sure I was pulling down your source quality then showed video status. Okay. Alright, come on up. Almost there. A little higher. There we go. Got it. <laughs> and then I can do the same trick to just leave. I think. Do you ladies feel like coming up here? I guess I could technically just drop, couldn't I? I don't actually need them to get down. Oh. Yeah, apparently I can't even have them get me down. Up. There we go. We're good. Now, what actually happens, considering I've done this stage before? Oh. Whoops. Cog advanced video stance? Hmm. I guess that means I could technically see it too, wouldn't it? There we go. Nope. Here to view. Well, didn't mean to do that. Nope. There we go. You can go away. Okay, much better. Alright, now let's just finish the stage, I'm pretty sure is what it's required. <laughs> just gonna spy on people's stream settings from now on. <laughs> I mean, that is usually what you need to do in now, so no worries there. It kind of does just take figuring out either the knowledge from asking people or... There we go. Oh. There we go. So what happens here? She is still here. Okay, I guess I can just fight her over and over again if I feel like it. Yeah, honestly, that's fair. Most of my viewers can't view anything over 2,000, so that's what I use, which is fine for 720. I probably should turn it down at some point, shouldn't I? Because having it so high without having the options makes that a little bit difficult to watch at the end of the day. Nope, I just need to... Hmm. I guess I can just dash under that, huh? Interesting. Ow. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. 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 That is an active hitbox, dude. Try again. Pop. Eee. Decoding needs more horsepower, but encoding requires the same horsepower regardless of target bit rate. Okay. Makes sense. Understood, ma'am. Please stop. Oh. Please die. Oh, I got greedy. Okay, well, close enough. Let's see here. Really should charge before I come in here, shouldn't I? Nope. Oh yeah, right. I can change the direction of these now. Oh, 
Up. There we go. Okay. There we go. Goodbye again, random forest wizard. And out we go. Cool. So now we've at least got all eight from the top row. Up. And I guess that means that everything else, yeah, I'm going to have to save for anyways. Honestly, that's fine. I guess let's just go in order. Kind of interesting that they chose Nue out of all the people from the temple. Well, although we are kind of dealing with a lot of same face syndrome now. Um... Okay, I guess those are just stage hazards then. Um... Okay. Oh, well, I guess the UFOs were going to start eventually. Okay, hi. There goes one green. Don't jump. There goes blue. Okay, good enough. Set my stream bit rate to 670, resolutions at 8 800 something by whoops, 500 something and it's still lagging like hell. Hmm, that might be a bit of a concern then. Uh how much of your system is it actually eating, Nano? Or at least what part of your system is it eating that's making it hurt so much? I'm not sure what any of that reads, but sure. Nice. Let's see here. Do do do. You can go away. I can see the flooring there, at least. The memory goes through the roof every time I do test streams. Memory. Ow. Up. Nope. Would rather you not murder me, please. Thank you. Hell, thank you. Hmm. Memory. What would a memory leak do? Mid boss? More UFOs? Nope. Alright. And then two reds. Ew, that didn't work well. Alright, how far back does that actually put us? Oh, to here? Oh. Well, that wasn't nice of you. I'm gonna take all those. Thank you. Whop. This is not smart gameplay, dude. Try again. There we go. Let's... Oh, whoops. That could have been a lot worse. Up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not 100% certain on your end, at least, Nano. 
it might just be that your computer can't handle it because I know in the past either your computer or your internet can't handle it. It's kind of a hard call on that front. Oops. Why can I not hit you? There we go. There we go, give me that. Uh, not a fan of that. Okay. Get rid of you. There we go. I think Nano needs some memory to start. Maybe more CPU or GPU. That's kind of what it's sounding like, isn't it? No. Okay. Go away. Uh... Well, that's where the secret is, obviously. But... Huh. Oh, I actually got in there. Ooh, that puts you right before the mini boss. Oh, I don't like that. My PC has two card ports, I think, but I only have one. I mean, usually speaking, not having two graphics cards doesn't necessarily solve the problem. It does just kind of depend on what kind of graphics card that you have in the first place. Because some aren't necessarily able to handle everything that a stream requires. Up. There we go. Oh god, my hand is starting to hurt. Ow. Oh crap, my elbow is popping, <laughs> pops up on screen. I'm sorry if you heard that. Here we go. Oh. Looks like you get angry when I kill the other two, so that helps. Let's see, SLI won't help you in most cases, and you can't use GP resources on a non-primary card to encode. Mm. I wish I knew what most of that meant. I need to get so much better at actually noticing when I actually land that. Okay. Give me all those. Oh, thank you, Jasper. I probably should pay more attention to the hydration. Ah. Welcome back, by the way, Jasper. Hopefully your food was good. Up. You can go away. You can go away. You especially can go away. Let's see. Oh. You actually stay out of it. Okay. The knot in my neck is not good, though. Uh, no. Generally not. Hopefully you're able to get rid of it, though. I would give advice, but mine is constantly just flailing about, so... I can't really help in that matter. <laughs> My only real answer is just get used to it. Which is not the best advice to give. Ow. 
Ow. Not good. There we go. Oh boy, this is bad placement to be. There we go. Bit better. Took a muscle relaxer. I don't think I can get used to not being able to turn my head to the right at all. Ugh. Yeah, that is a bit of an awkward situation and does make it really, really hard to drive. There we go. Um. So what did I just skip by doing that? Looks like I just skipped a lower pathway. Okay, so that's not even intended. I did not see any extra power-up thing during that. Up. Hmm. I mean, does CPU utilization go very high according? No, just memory. I don't remember what just the memory tab is, to be honest with you. Hey, that wasn't funny. I know you have a moon rabbit here. Just let her go. Enjoy the lurk, Jasper. No way. I'll, I'll have to punish her first. All of a sudden, she just comes barging in the temple and causes a ruckus. And I get blamed for this. Well, I'll show them. Let me just have some fun with her. As if. Alright, let's see what madness Nui has. Because I like Nui. Don't like that. So, she can just summon her UFOs during her fight. Okay. Don't necessarily like a fight with ads, but... Let's see what we can do. It does seem like they don't have as much health as before, though. Ow. Uh, nope. Nope, I'm just gonna die to this. <laughs> That's fine. anti malware service excludal is taking some space in memory, though. Yeah, anti-malware will take a little bit of extra juice, that's for sure. Mm. Pop. You can go away. That isn't good for me. Nope. So what happens if I kill that? Okay, you've just got a full stock of them, so it really does not matter. Ew. What the hell do I do then? Do I just leave it on green? Hmm. Weird. I think I'd throw more memory at it before I disable protection stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a good plan. I unfortunately don't know all of the intricacies of that just yet, but you can go away in all honesty. Oh, not good. close on that too. Okay, so green is definitely the easiest one to just dodge, so kill the red one, then focus on her. That's not too bad. 
Come on, anyway. I'm gonna have to do this stage again anyways, because I didn't know where the actual key button was, so... There we go. Up. Nope. That's not good. Got her. Bye bye, new way. I actually took a lot less tries than I figured it would take. Uh, hey. At least help me clean up the mess before everyone gets back. Eh, sorry, not my problem. What? <laughs> Although, did miss the extra one. I didn't even see it, to be honest with you. Nor did I see an extra pathway where I could have found it. Hmm. Let's see. That takes three. I guess we'll just take that. I wonder if I should just check where it is. Hmm, might have to clear the cache often. If you do have to clear the cache often enough, though, that kind of just feels like there's something a bit bigger at risk. Well. Alright, spooky times. Hello, ghosts. This is really the only thing I'm not 100% certain on. If there's just something about ghost lens, which... Oh, no, they can't hurt you. Okay. Hmm. Where would they... All oh, right, UFO time. There we go. There we go. Anyways, I'm hungry. Gonna lurk now. Alright, sounds good, Nano. Up, oh, enjoy your food. Oh. Hmm. Whoops. Can't really hit the ghost. But there has to be something about the ghost stages, which I'm just not understanding. Are they hiding something here? Are you hiding something from me, ghosts? Should I be following you backwards to break some kind of wall that I'm not expecting you to be able to? Oops. Because I know that this is here. And then there's just a lot of bombs hidden here. And I can't go higher. Where else could they hide something, though? Oops. There we go. You can go away. You can also go away. Hmm. Maybe outside this building? Because I'm not really seeing anything inside here that's helpful. Oops. Ah, okay, that's how that works. Okay, so no, nothing up here. Ah. This would do it. Oh. Found it. That's fine. I at least wanted to find the point. Although I'm fairly certain I need to finish the level. So I guess we're going to have to fight Yue again. That's fine. She wasn't too bad of a fight. Pop. Thank you for the bomb. Much better. Pop, pop, pop. 
Oh, you can go away. Do, do, do. Bop, bop, bop. Hmm. So we should still have it, so it's technically fine. Nope. Aw. There we go. That's a bit easier. There we go. Also, you're not done. Bump. Need one of you to go away, please. Thank you. Now, at least get me to new ace fight, please. Ow. Hmm. Now, how do I deal with you? That works. Making it, to, making it to new is at least good. And now that we know the strategy, at least, take out the red UFO, leave the green one. That leaves you the most opportunities to just dodge stuff. Womp. Don't want to seem to pull one out, do you? Nope, that's not going to work. And one more. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Sorry, Nui. Anyway. Uh, have fun cleaning this all up, though. Alright, so two collected there, two there, two there, two there, two there. I'm fairly certain we don't have enough money to buy anything, do we? Yeah. <laughs> you had frame advantage? Apparently I did have frame advantage there, which is admittedly a little bit weird. Uh, I'm going to deal with Cowboy Nukebird in the Animal Realm? Okay. Let's see what Cowboy Bird has. Oh. I literally just have to break into here. Okay. Oh. That's not a mechanic I was expecting. Oh. That's new. And that's an invincible enemy, I guess. Okay, so they can be attacked. What is your mechanic? Hmm. Pop. We'll take that. We'll take that. Oh, don't like you. Pop. That's a purple bird. Aw. I thought it would have been a smart place to actually hide something, too. Alright, so, what is your goal? Apparently nothing. Okay. Up. Although I am liking the setting, although this doesn't really feel anything like a Toho area. Just because this looks like a modern city. <laughs> Not that I'm minding, but... It is definitely a little bit weird. I'm guessing that's a death plane. Plop. Just checking. 
Okay, yeah, death plane. Do 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 do. Oh, that's new. We'll take that. Nowhere in Gensoki like this, so I'm not sure where it actually is. Yeah, that is a little bit curious, in all honesty. But considering how modern of a city it is, it must be like some alternate dimension that... Well, okay, noted. But considering they also just added her in Lost Word, I'm guessing she's recent. There we go. Could be some version of Hell from 98. Maybe. I don't really know, to be honest with you. She feels newer, but I don't know much about her, so I can't say for certain. It's worth checking out the name later, though. But she seems to have spectral wolves that fights for her. So that's mainly her mechanic, which is why we've got all these spirit animals around. This is just kind of her thing. Although the animal kingdom is definitely a new sounding one, too. And I'm thinking about it. There we go. Let's see. Goodbye, Otter. Oh, unless this is beyond the border in actual Japan? Maybe. Although I'd be a little bit concerned that actual Japan is just completely... Yeah, that sounds about right. That actual Japan is just a nightmare of skyscrapers with lightning striking everywhere. This might just be her thing, though. She might be causing the lightning. Although, good on them for not wasting resources. Up. Up. Having the bullet curve is very helpful, by the way. You cannot just... Oh. The bullet curve is quite nice. <laughs> just having the ability to just kind of angle things a little bit up or down, it is very hard to ignore. Ow. Please go away. Oh. Oh, you do have a shot. Oh, you actually have a homing shot. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I probably should figure out how to deal with that bird, but I can't take it out with a singular charge shot, so... Oh. At least those little Biakos are a little bit easier. Whop. And pop. And then I need the full charge for that. Nice. Oh. That's a bit of a whoops. Ow. No, don't bring the bird back. Let's see here. Hmm. Sir, that is under the ground. Thank you. Okay, that works. Bop, bop. This is flat terrain. Okay. Ah, okay. Not a fan of that. That's going to put me right back to the beginning, isn't it? Uh, no. Okay. Glad we hit a checkpoint. Mm. Well, that works. There we go. Goodbye, Mr. Otter. Although, out of... Oh... There's spites down there. Okay. Charge shot only to hurt those. Yeah, the eagles have a lot of health, and I guess the otters do as well. 
Uh, with the cats specifically, they actually have a very little amount of health. But their thing is that you can only attack them when their mouth is actually open. Oh. And then the otters do have a lot of health as well, and that I'm thinking on it. Give me that. I mean, I'll take that too. No, bad. And it looks like the otters have about five. That's not too bad. That's a death plane from what I recall. So. Ah. Needed to do the jash. Okay, that's fine. So. Kitty one. Kitty two. Here. I'm not even going to bother with the eagle, because it'll despawn by the time I get over to here anyways. I'll take that. Goodbye, otter. No. Let's see. Also, for the reason I'm just kind of skating about, I am trying to find the secret. I'm just not 100% certain where they'll put it. There we go. That works. Oh, crap. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay. So what time is it? It's about 11 o'clock? Really? It does take three for you. There we go. So, <laughs> okay, that's me not paying attention to where the blocks actually are. Fair. And then bop. Gotta remember that you need to go across that wall at the very least. Don't pay attention to those, Jude. They are not worth your time. Hello, otter friend. Nice. Let's see. And then charge. There you are. <laughs> Tricky little guy. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to actually focus for that. <sighs> Having the dark gray tiles on functionally burgundy background is not exactly kosher. Ow. You know what? Screw you. I'm gonna take that. Alright, let's see here. So, otters have about four health? Because I'm pretty sure the ultra charge has three damage. Oh. I actually hit it with that. Okay, I'll take it. Pop. Alright. So otters have four health. The eagles, I think, have five. The cats have three. Ow. Been sitting a bit too long. Alright, let's see here. Crap. Nope. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so I guess I need to take some of those out just to avoid any complications. Up. Looks like about four or five for them, yeah. Okay, let's see here. There we go. Gonna take that. And then up. Oh. Right, you do not get the timing for that. Do, do, do. 
up here. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> we'll get there. This is going to be one of those games that kind of hurts my hands anyways, no matter what we realistically do. So, ow. Leave me alone, cat. So, as the night goes on, it will eventually deteriorate in a lot of the skill. It does look like if you're just on the side of the blocks, it does not seem to deteriorate them. So that might be something to look into. There we go. Here. Then charge for you. Alright, let's see here. Oh, whoops. Oh, I could have saved that too. I will say this game is more brutal than I was expecting. You're doing pretty well for it, though. Well, thank you. Admittedly, yeah, it is fairly brutal, but if it's meant to be a Mega Man X game, but with Toho level pain, it makes sense that it'll be a little bit more difficult than one would expect. Oh, jeez. No. Get off those. But certainly trying my best to. I don't think we'll finish everything tonight, just because there's an hour left, and I'm pretty sure there's still multiple other bosses to do, plus whatever they count as the Wily stage in this. Which, Wily's going to be interesting. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Well, oh. Reform? That's not good. Honestly, I'll take that. <laughs> Could have done a lot worse. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. There we go. Expect to fight... Whoops. Wily 3. Expect to fight Wily three times in a boss parade to get to him. Probably, yeah. Oh, uh, well. We found... We found just the straight boss... Again, I didn't even see what the... Where the side piece was. Oh, don't do this. Okay. You're not that mean. Any howdy, partner. <laughs> Took you long enough. I have your hostage here. Let let's negotiate. Uh, what are you on about? Huh? I said I captured this moon rabbit as a hostage. I I'm, I'm not a representative of the Lunarians. Can you let that girl go? Eh, lies. You're a moon rabbit, too, aren't you? Eh, why, it's my lucky day. Uh, double the hostages, double the demands. I do not understand why these, she's this sassy, but sure. So let's see what she can actually do. Was that a mirror? Also, she has actual Don Maku, not just the regular silver bullets. And I can't... <sighs> There's no walls. <laughs> I wanted wall jump, goddammit. <laughs> So she's got her mirrors, which have a delayed homing shot that comes out of them. She's got actual Donmaku. Excuse me, ma'am. You're using the wrong game elements for this. Ah, damn. Move. Ow. Oh! Oh! She doesn't necessarily need a shot to go out of that. Okay. Oh. Also, she is kind of just avoiding some of my shots as well. Whoops. Nope, I just jumped right into that. Okay. But you'll notice when she's doing that dash, she does just dodge these if I don't aim them down. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> I was wondering when they were going to do that to us, but... Sure, it makes sense of the cowboy can get it. Okay. Calm down. Ow. 
Oh no, I thought that one was lightning. Up. Um. Oh. Okay. Your patterning with that is supremely weird. Nope. Nope. I think it's relatively convenient that we actually got her while she was doing her finger snap, too. Two tries, though. Not too bad. <laughs> and moon rabbits are nothing but tools to Lunarians. They're not going to listen to your demands over some cannon fodder. Uh, is that so? Fine, just take the girl. And I thought it was a flawless plan. Unfortunately, we do have to do that again because I did not even see where the hidden one was. Huh. Although I did get her in Lost Word. I should check, actually. What game is she from? Because she's not PC-98. She's fairly recent from what I recall. Toho Saki? Let's see. She's the EX boss of Wild Beasts and Weak or Wily Beasts and Weakest Creature. Which from what I recall is Toho 17. Yeah, so she is very recent. <laughs> She's the extra boss of one of the most recent games. <laughs> so she is meant to be fairly powerful, all things considered. Whoops. Okay, well, nothing down there. But where would they hide it on us? Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Guessing there's nothing, like, down here? No, okay, just empty pit. Oop. Pop. But I guess that's why things are more modern, because Wily Beasts does kind of sound like something you would get from 17. There we go. <laughs> just you down there. Yeah. I figured it would be semi-expected, but... Because I'm just trying to find out where they would hide stuff in here, because there's not many places you can really, like, jump to. Up. Oh, crap. You can go away. Thank you. Can't be up there. What about down here? No. Okay. Up. Yeah, I tried checking up there last time. That was already a negative. I think there's... yeah. Roly poly oly is definitely something you need to pay attention for. No, not here. Oh, look at you being a sneaky little git. No, get back here. Hmm, oh. Sorry, Fluffy. I was not really paying attention for you there. No, that's just lightning. My girl, where are you hiding this one? Not seeing it down here. Pop. Not seeing anything down here either. Hmm. Hey, the caribou. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully the evening is going all right for you so far. What about here? Also just a dead empty pit. Oh, that puts you all the way back. Ooh. That makes it awkward to search for then. Let's see. You'll have to forgive me if I'm not going to be quite as chatty, since this game is going to be... Whoops. Really? Rude cat. This game's going to be a little bit harder than most of what we usually play, so I'm gonna have to focus a wee bit harder. Pop. Nope. 
Nope. And then I'm assuming another one? Oh no, okay. And right now we're kind of just searching for extra power. And I'm almost half tempted to just check where it is, considering how late it already is. Well, Hi, bird. Can you go away, please? Thank you. That's the button I need. Much better. So that pit was confirmed empty already. Oh. Oh, nope. Try that again, dude. Hmm. Pretty sure this entire pit is just emptiness, so there's not much I can glean from that. Up. No. Please just kill. Thank you. No. I forget how loud the ooh actually is. Oops. I guess that's fine now. It is kind of the benefit of it. Up. Now let's see here. You can go away, and I'm pretty sure... Yep. And then Birdie Boy is not going to leave us alone, so I would like to get rid of if I can. There we go. Much better. Oh. Up here. That works. And what else do we get? I guess let's just make it across this pit. Because I'm not really seeing much in here. Hmm. There can't be anything like super far down here, can there? Okay, no, it's just a complete wall of spikes. I was wondering for a second because they had it lowered. Oh, there is a halfway point. Well, that's nice. Up. I guess that means it's around here somewhere then. So nothing there. Cat number one. Cat number two. Oh, that's bad. Hmm. Otter, I need you to go away. Thank you. That was my thought too, just busting a wall. You would think it would be busting a wall just because the glass exists here. But... That doesn't seem to be the M.O. Hmm. Oh, right. That works. Let's see. It feels like it has something to do with this. I just don't know how. But it has to have to do with just that little platforming area. Bop. Bop. Much better. Just get off of that to not die instantaneously if you can. Oh. Alright, so next. You just lead straight to a death plane. Gonna take that. Hmm. This I'm pretty sure is just a flat death plane. Up. Better. Oh. Whoops. 
How far back is that going to put me, actually? To here? Okay, that should be fine. Ow. Oh. Well, hello, Cuppy. Hopefully you're having a fantastic evening so far. Uh, to anyone who might be new to my stream, at the very least, welcome. My name is Jude, your Judicial Utility Droid Mark III, here to provide you with a decently comfy time while we're going through various games. Right now, you're kind of just experiencing me with a Mega Man X series game for the first time in my life, but... <laughs> so don't mind any of the random screw-ups if you are a fan of the franchise. I'm not used to this kind of gameplay at all. And let's see... You're tinkering with Overwatch. Is that specifically the Overwatch beta, then? How are you finding it so far? Because from what I've heard, it's functionally just a patch. Oh, hello. Okay, that's different. Do, 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 do. And of course there's an otter guarding it. There we go. I tried the beta, but I was playing... But I was playing just the first one tonight. Doing some ranked stuff. Okay. Well, not too bad then. Okay, that's not good. No, nope, I'm dead. Oh well, I got the point. That's what matters. Now I just need to actually finish the level again. <laughs> Well, hopefully that your ranked matches were going well. I was never very straight in Overwatch, so all I can say is good luck. <laughs> and hopefully you're better than just what I ended up doing, which was playing my 10 ranked games just so I could play with friends. But that was very far back in the day. Well, I'm more of a platformer guy myself, so... Well, Although, my wrists are definitely dying on me now. Up. And we still got a bit of time left. Up. Let's see here. Oh, crap. That works. And then just get over here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And we're on to the last portion. Cool. All right, that wasn't too bad. All right, now time for Cowboy Bird. Let's see what we can do with her. I don't remember her pattern being super awful, so... Mainly just annoying. Whop. Oop. All right, gotta go. No worries there. Hopefully the rest of the... Ow. Rest of the night goes well for a cup. Up. Oh, interesting. Nope, get over here. Got her. <laughs> Glad we can at least finish that first stride so we're not here for too long refighting a boss we already beat. Ow. So now we've just got Yugi and Seija left. Um... Oh yeah, I should probably worry about fight or flight. Oh well, the Wily Sages will probably give me the last little chunk of what I need, but... Honestly, let's just try Yugi. Considering she's more of a hand-to-hand -hand punch your faces in kind of character, I'm a little bit curious as to what they'll do with her here. Okay. Giving us different fairy type. And a lot of fire. Makes sense. I guess those are just the dead... Oh. Dead fairies and will-o'-wisps. Okay. Uh, the P thing is going to be like right in the middle of one of these fire pillars, isn't it? Also, I do wonder if those are death traps. Ow. Hmm. Oh. 
Okay, well, these act like her UFOs a little bit, don't they? Okay, that should be fine, but... Oh, you're that one. I don't like you. Oh, that does count as a standable surface. Okay, we're going up there, for sure. Whop. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Not a fan. I guess they have their... The blue one actually has a shot. The red one just explodes when it dies, which is fair. And it looks like it only has two, so that's actually not that hard to deal with. Let's see here. I guess I can't pass by the hoses, at least. So that should at least be fine for exploring. Oh, crap. That's not good, Jude. There we go. And I'm trying to keep my eye out for secrets. Not having the best of luck, though. Up. No, you can go away, Mr. Fairy. And then you are, like, Tui. Don't like that mechanic. Hmm. Oh, hello. Am I not going to have to search for it this time? Hey, nice. I don't even have to bother searching for it this time. Thank you. Womp. You can go away. Do, do, do. Thank you, Yugi, for having the simpler stage to do this with. Let's see. Scared of you. Um. What? <laughs> Why did we not get this on the Phoenix's stage? Why is this on Yugi's stage? Uh. <laughs> hmm. Well, that could be a problem. Okay. I think this is tall enough. It is not tall enough. You go away. Nope. Okay, so hop on the roof, run. Let's see here. Nope. Oh. Yuki's stage was surprisingly easy. Okay. And of course we have to walk through the bar to get to her. <laughs> okay, at least these guys know what they're doing. Alright, Yugi, what's up? What do you think you're doing with that rabbit? Uh, why, showing her a proper welcome. She only arrived here, after all. Can't you see her hurting her? How about I entertain you in exchange for the girl? <laughs> Will you now? Uh, you're new here too, aren't you? So be it. Alright, let's see how much I fuck this up. Oh, I don't like that. Uh... That entire rock is a hitbox, isn't it? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. Ow. That's my face. You know what? Half health on the first try? That's not too bad. And honestly, not the worst patterning either. I just need to be careful about that rock because it... Blends very well into the background. <laughs> oh. I'm giving her firepower for that. Noted. Otherwise, she's functionally just got the rock. <laughs> oh, those bounce. Okay. Ow. Ma'am. 
Does she have super armor while she drinks? <laughs> also, her health bar appears to be purple. I'm a little bit concerned about that. This means she has a phase 2, doesn't she? No? Huh. Okay. Her thing in canon is when she fights, she does so without spilling a drop of her sake. Hyper armor goes with that. It honestly does. I just wasn't expecting a boss to have super armor for a taunt. <laughs> That's actually kind of good. I'll give him that. Uh, I like you. Feel free to visit the former capital anytime. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll think about it. Well, I'm glad we just shot Yuki, or Yugi, and she's just like, cool, that was fun. So now all we've got left is Seija. That's not too bad. And that lines up pretty perfectly with all that, so... Yeah. Alright, let's see how much of a pain in the butt Seija's Sage is. And hey there, what side? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully evening is going well for you so far. Uh, you've missed me trying to learn how Mega Man X works. I can give you at least that much of a summary. Oh, I immediately hate it. Seija, why? <laughs> Ugh, okay. Oh god, but the enemies... Oh god. Okay, this is gonna get really weird. This means the secret is gonna be hidden behind something else, and I'm not going to like it. I feel you would destroy if you played it after this. Honestly, if I had it, then that would be pretty nice. Um... It. Am I stuck here? I guess I just need to make my way back around then? This way. Let's see here. The only thing I could think of... Okay, no. Don't make your way back. Ow. So I need to keep going forward after I hit that one. Noted. Nope. Oh. At least those guys are less of a problem when they're upside down. Whop. I am getting a little bit better at the whole holding a charge thing while having to do the dash jumping. Um. Now, what I'm curious about is if I can hit that while I'm basically below here. So, like, down, like, below here, because I'm wondering if there's anything on top. But I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, no, that doesn't really seem super possible. Um. Now, I do see you down there. No, okay, just a gigantic spike trap. I was wondering, there was like a little bit of something there, but I wasn't 100% sold on what it was. Whoops. There we go. I guess that's why the three-way fairies are here. They're really going to have the only possible chance of consistently hitting me. Oh. Whoops. Gotta remember, if you hit these in the wrong order, nothing really happens. There we go. Oh, not quite. Although I do like this directional thing that the game has. I think that's pretty neat. Just because being able to just slightly aim your shots is very helpful. Oh. Oh, they're placed like that because I'm going to have to go over this, aren't I? Yep. 
and you're there. Can I kill you before the swap? Now, let's see here. Not too bad. Let's see here. Well, uh, nope, I just fell into space. <laughs> hey there, Shin. Welcome, welcome. And it looks like you're able to find the tennis ball this time. So that's always nice. Those don't do too much damage. But how's it going, Shin? Is the knight treating you well? Pop, 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 pop. Let's see. So, that. Get rid of you. Pop. I just finished surprise binging in anime, so yeah, nice and comfy. Well, what anime did you end up finding, Shin? Because I know I've been kind of bumming around with Mushoku Tensei today, which is partly why I've been late to both streams today, but that just kind of happens. So let's see here. That's a good question, actually. What does it want me to do here? Uh, I watched Sword Art Online Season 4. Hmm. Well, I don't really keep up with Sword Art Online anymore, so... Honestly, anything could be true. Oh. Okay, well, that's one way to save it. I guess this is also Sage's Castle, so anything really goes. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. You detested Season 2. Yeah, Season 2 was very boring, to be honest with you. Pop. Oh, wrong button. Alright, Jude, try this again. Oh. Hmm. This feels like I'm going to go this way, but then I'm going to have to turn it around. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Gotta remember that is the combination, not that way. Oh, that still puts me at the start, too. That's mean. Okay. I guess then out of curiosity, Shin, but have you watched the Gun Gale Alternative season? Or Gun Gale Alternative just subsection? I don't know how they classify that thing. But just the one that does not have Kirito in it, because I know a lot of people are fine with at least that one. Well, you can go away. I guess I'll take the free bomb, but here. You can go away. Um, here. What about further down? No, that's just death. Okay. Nah, anytime they're in VR playing a game, I find it incredibly boring. Hmm. Fair. I would at least recommend that one specifically, because I've heard it's actually good. All right, I have to do this. Oh, shite. Pop. But I think most people also just like it because Reki Kawahara did not write Gun Gale Alternative. Whoops. And that's usually what I hear in defense of that one, at least. So what happens if I don't flip this, then? Ah, it becomes impassable. Okay, noted. Up. Oh, you're not allowed to do that. There we go. And don't mind the mind flippiness of this. The Sage's Castle is just conceptually awful. So we kind of just have to do this. Um. Excuse me? Hold on. What are you expecting me to do? Oh. 
Okay. Honestly, sure, but not appreciated. Hmm. Anything down here? Oh, there is a switch here. So what happens if I go like this? Oh, you're not allowed to do contact damage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, okay, note to self, don't spam shots. But we did hit a checkpoint at least, so that's good. So then what's over here then? Oh, literally nothing, huh. Whop. Yeah, I got shot happy. That happens though. <laughs> pew pew. But that is why the gun emote is there. It's just because of pew pew. Let's see here. So note to self, don't spam shots this time. Because that thing's a bit of a jerk. And I didn't see any open passageways through there either, so the secret's not through there. Ow. Although I am seeing a room down there, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Whop. You can go away. You can go away. Hmm. Now, how do I get down there? Just like that? Okay. Is this progression, or is this just a secret? No. Nope. Looks like this is progression, actually. Yeah. Now, I... Will I say I recommend Season 4 of Sao? No. Okay, good. I don't really want to waste my time watching it anyways. The power fantasy is getting out of control. The power fantasy was out of control in Season 1. He literally murdered a... Well, he literally had to murder a guy in Season 1 or Season 2 because of the fact that Asuna was functionally being kidnapped by him. There we go. Plus, I mean, he literally had dual swordsman ship when literally no one else could use it. Season two. Ow. Season one was amazing. Okay. I don't personally see it, but I'm not gonna really argue against other words about the quality of sword art online. Oh. I think I just ended up finding it either too boring or too generic. But it has been a while since I've watched it, so that might also be it. Please die. Thank you. Whop. So let's see here. You can go away. You can go away. Looks like about five health on those fairies. Okay. I will need to keep that in mind. You can go away. Alright, let's see here. So, this... Oh! Oh, cool, I hit it that time. Uh, what is the benefit of doing this, though? So, these are all upside down now. Does that actually help me? Up. Up. Um. No. Hmm. Oh. That was rude. Okay. I guess I didn't wait long enough. That's fine. Phew. You can go away. I'm honestly just going to run past all of you guys, because you don't know what you're doing. Let's see. 
Although I am curious of what that is supposed to be. But then why is that flip there? What direction are they expecting me to take advantage of with that flip? I guess I could go over there. Okay. I'll have to look on the left side. I suppose I found the idea that people who are just taking it easy, enjoying a game while letting their consciousness be taken out of their control and into a virtual world, and then having that consciousness hijacked and thrust into a life or death fascinating. It showed the various issues of suddenly... Oops. Gotta pay attention. It showed the various issues that suddenly sprung up pretty well. Yeah, but this is also like the third or fourth time I've seen that. Because like dot hack exists, so sow doesn't really mean much to me when dot hack explained a lot of my childhood. So it wasn't anything groundbreaking for me, I guess then, in that sense. Pop. Pop. didn't have gravity? No? People were still dying in dot .hack, from what I recall. Oh, crap. Go over here? Is this not what it wanted me to do? Oh, there is someone over here. Hi. Tens of thousand. Oh, hey, it is. Cool. <laughs> Tens of thousands of players suddenly sucked in and force is an impossible situation. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess in that sense, Sao does at least kind of tick the box for that. Whop. I guess I just didn't think about it in that way before. Still didn't exactly change my mind, but... Because in that sense, you're comparing it to a rogue AI who's doing it, compared to a multi-billionaire who's doing... Fuck. A multi-billionaire who's ending up doing it to just a larger population at once. Although I guess Kite was only just knocking people in the comas one by one, wasn't he? Not Kite, sorry. What was the AI's avatar name? Kite is just the player he looks like. God, it has been a hot minute since I've done anything relating to Dot Hack. Pop. Oh well. Maybe one of these days I'll get back to watching Sword Art Online just to see what it's like. I might partially be jaded just by the amount of people who spew the negativity about it and the obvious scene in Season 1 that people never shut up about. Whomp. There we go. The only other star I know that that was Log Horizon. Log Horizon I did like. I... Th Actually, that might be it, now that I'm thinking on it. I just don't like Kirito. I want to shove Kirito in a locker. Pop. Though that didn't have the gravity either, because it had to respawn. It did have respawn, but wasn't the issue with the respawn is that you would slowly chip away at your memories over time? Yeah, that was the issue. Like, it wasn't just instant death, but you would essentially become a zombie after a while. Plus, you do still have to experience death. Oh, nice. Oh, that's not good. Thank you for the health. Um. Oh. Okay, didn't see the roof. I think I also just liked Log Horizon more because there wasn't such overpowered characters in it. And it did bring a little bit more of a found family into everything. Uh. 
I can't do that here. Say, so where the hell is your flipper? Wop. Don't get me wrong, after 2, 3, and 4, I want to shove Kirito in more than just a locker. I mean, fair. I don't think many people necessarily enjoy Kirito's presence in most of that showing, but... Where the hell is the flipper for this? Or did I just go the wrong way? Oh boy. Hmm. Well, this is a mite bit confusing. I guess I need to find a flipper somewhere, but I don't know where. Uh. Oh. Okay. Well, that makes this a little bit easier. Jesus. Blog Horizon is a new season, I think. It, I believe it does, yeah. Just it took forever for them to get another season out. So a lot of people may have just missed that news. I've been waiting for it personally, but I don't fully recall when it was going to come out. Okay, good. Although, please, God, don't tell me that there's a flipper in her room. Okay. Uh, I know why you're here. Well, that makes it easier. Uh, can I... Season 3 was 2020? Fuck, man, have I really missed it by that much? I'm gonna blame COVID, in all honesty. Oh god, yeah. If it was 2021, there was no way in hell we were paying to that close attention to anime news. Oh, I feel so bad for Lock Horizon. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that, then. Let's see, don't underestimate me. No way you're capturing me without a fight. Uh, no, just listen. Alright, let's see what Seija actually does. Oh, no. We're not dealing with your dolls. At least we got walls in here. Uh... Oh, you do have a physical attack. Look at you go. Aren't you special? Oh, she can reflect my shots back at me. Okay. Also the Mamizo statue. Good touch. Although I'm surprised Nui didn't have the Mamizo stuff. More so than her. That's a new one. Oh. Oh, no. She can just change it at will. What is that other all do then what does that one do does that just make me take more damage hmm nope not good oh I got her wow only two tries nice good news found it on crunchy Okay, well, I've got access to Crunchyroll, so that's not too bad. I guess I'll have to watch that tomorrow, then. I don't think I need to do any shopping. Ugh, not bad. So, can I have the rabbit? Huh? What rabbit? The one that's hiding over there. What? Yeah, bye, Seija. Maybe listen to us next time, please and thanks. Yeah, I saw Season 3, but I wish they made more. There's, like, three more volumes left to cover. <laughs> Honestly, not too bad. Oh, it's kind of crowding in here. What do you do now, uh, Raisin? I'll bring them back home safely. Besides, I still have some unfinished business in the Lunar Capital. Oh. Oh, the Wily stages are going to be like... God, what is her name? Holy shit, that is a lot of notifications on the phone. Okay, I'm going to have to clear that out after this. Uh, you already did more than enough. We can handle it, you know? You said it yourself. You're no longer a moon rabbit. That's fine, really. They're my responsibility now. I just have a feeling the higher-ups who sent these girls out here will listen to me. I'll just make sure of it. Oh. Okay. 
So I wasn't expecting Reimu. I was actually expecting someone else first. Do we want to save that for next week, though? I wonder, actually. Option? Can I change my color from here? Yes, not from here. So, let's just go into the stage to see. You're going to the foot of Yokai Mountain, a formidable foe is approaching. Oh, so Reimu's just approaching us. That makes more sense. Oh, hey, it's Momiji. Hi. Of course we've got the shielders now. Fine, go screw yourself, Momiji. Ooh, health. Well, I'm glad Momiji got a little bit of rep in this. And of course, she's the shielder. <laughs> there we go. They also do significantly less damage than I figured they would. Let's see. Oh. I'm just going to assume this is the right path to take. Ah, eh, not really a right or wrong path either way. Oh, crap, the Tengu. Don't care about the Tengu. You can just despawn. Well, hi, Momiji. Safe to assume you've got, like, five health? Let's see. Nope. Let's see. Do I need to pay attention for secrets, I wonder? Okay, we've got the rocks falling again. Oh. Not good. There we go. Doing some quick looking. People are guessing Log Horizon in 2024 or 2025. That's actually not too bad, all things considered. Who knows? Sounds like wild guessing to me. Probably, yeah, because it would have to depend heavily on whether or not it actually got a second season based on the numbers from season three. And considering how long it took us to get Season 3 in the first place... Can I just... Yeah, that works. Also, I'm noticing a lot of little spikes in here. There we go. Hi, Momiji. You wanna open up? Much better. Well, it took so long to get Season 3 because the author of the source material was in jail for tax evasion. <laughs> Probably a good reason to be on hiatus. But I guess better tax evasion than the uh, other options that have come up with light novel authors as of late. Although, how do you commit tax evasion as an author? So you're saying he had lots of time then. I mean, a lot of time in prison. That doesn't really count towards writing, Shin. That's like saying you had a lot of time to eat because you were in the hospital. Oh, no, that counts as a... Uh, just a bottomless pit. Don't worry about that. Hmm... Didn't quite work. Now, I do wonder if the Wily stages in this are going to have secrets at all. Because I haven't fully been looking for them, but... This is actually a decent place to grind stuff. These guys are kind of easy to kill. Up. Hold on. No? Okay. Ah, damn. Okay. Got a little bit greedy there. That's fine. Uh, I'll give it one more solid try, but I think we might just save these for next week, just so that way we can have a semi-full stream of this. 
because it is getting a little bit close to midnight, so I would like to get maybe a few more episodes of what I was watching in before I go to bed. There we go. Also a fresh thumb. Yeah, admittedly, if you've seen how I've been tapping, my thumbs are kind of hurting a little bit, I'll be honest. No. Up. Let's see here. Also, admittedly, voice is kind of dying because of the heat, so... Would be good to rest that a little bit. Come on, Mumiji. Gotta switch up the index and ring finger tapping. How in the world do you expect me to do index and ring finger for that? Shin, I am not an octopus. I am a robot. There's a difference. Oh. Oh. That works. Kind of. Do, do, do. Oh, you can still hit me from there. A flaw in the robot brain? I mean, a little bit, if you're expecting me to be able to do that. You should be able to play with your feet. But my designer didn't have a foot fetish in. How am I supposed to play with my feet when my designer didn't think about that? Pop. Pop. Oh, almost. Pop. That works. And I'm mostly just keeping an eye on the top, so if I do get hit by random enemy bullets, I'm just going to blame it on that. Oh, nice. That actually wasn't too bad at all. Oh, hi, Momiji. I know one other series I'd be a little bit curious to get more of is Bofuri, actually. That would be a fun one to see more content of. Although I'm not sure how the light novel for that one goes, so I'm not sure if it can continue at the moment. Okay. I'm gonna have to dash through that anyways. Um... We're already halfway through. May as well just finish it. You need to watch that. I honestly recommend it when you get the time solace. They did a very good job of just making that show funny in a good way. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Because if you can imagine SAO being a game that's made relatively competently, try putting a VR MMO in a game that's built very poorly, and they just have fun with that idea. It is honestly one of the better comedies surrounded... Really? It's one of the better comedies surrounded around the subject. Because, like, for one instance, this is explained in the first five minutes. The skill system is based on Final Fantasy 2. And they built an MMO with that mechanic. There we go. Yeah, exactly. She just maxes out her defense because she's afraid to get hurt. But then in doing so, no one can actually damage her. And then she ends up just doing the weirdest shit and it works out so well. It's just a cautionary tale of, hey, by the way, pay attention to what you're designing, folks. Not everything is going to work out the way you want it to. Oh, okay. Thought it was a little bit SOL there. Ew. Okay, I'm going to have to do that at the bottom. And that puts me back to here. Yeah, okay, that's what I expected. Go away. Oh, wait, actually. Actually, this is a bit better, isn't it? No, okay, it's just here. Womp. 
honestly, don't care about Momiji in this game. I love her, but I'm sorry, Momiji. <laughs> Having shielders in a Mega Man game is not the greatest thing in the world. Let's see. About here. I'll take that. Oh, I don't like this. With enemies to fight? Oh dear. Okay. Hmm. That's a bit concerning. That is pretty mean, I'll be honest, but this is a Toho game based on Mega Man X, so I'm not going to fault it too hard for just being mean, because that's like saying water is wet. They do at least let you curve your bullets. That is the upside to this game. You can curve your shots if you want. You're not just stuck with your basic lemon and charge shot. And then here. I'll take that. Let's see. Can I actually charge a shot while doing this? I don't know if I can. Ew. This requires too many fingers. Um... Damn it, I was close to. Okay. Because what I was thinking is you need to hold dash just so that way you can get the dash jumps off on the walls. But then if you can charge shots in between the middle bit so you can at least clear out some of them. But might be asking a little bit too much. <laughs> Yay for the enemy bolts getting in bone. Yeah. That's one thing I at least wanted to exploit. Oh, hi, Tengu. Considering they just have the... By the way, what does Momiji actually count as? Because I know that she's a defender of the Tengu, but is she a Tengu of, of her own kind, but a wolf? That's one part of the Toho lore I just haven't really come to understand just yet. Fuck. Momiji's a wolf Tengu. See, Tengu in and of itself just screams bird to me, though. Just a much lower rank than Aya. Are the wolves in general just lower ranks than the crows, or...? Because Tengu screams bird, wolf Tengu just doesn't physiologically make sense. Uh, here. 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 You can go away. Then you... Don't care. We will take that. Here. That works. Here. That works. There we go. I thought Tengu was Heaven's dog. I keep thinking Tengu as, like, the bird animal, or the bird boys. Please die. Thank you. This looks about right. Yeah, okay. Nah, this is where Zun kind of wraps his drunken ideas around the classic interpretation. Okay, honestly, fair. I can't really fight Zun in that regard. Also, Reimu's fight also doesn't have walls. Good to know. Going on a morning stroll, are we? Eh, you know, just enjoying the sunrise. But don't play dumb with me. I know about your little group of friends. Uh, in that case, let me just get to the point. Uh, let me through, Reimu. Uh, this is none of your business. 
Like hell it isn't. You people from the lunar capital can't be trusted. Stop messing with Gensokia already. Alright, so how hard is Reimu? Oh goody. And it bounces. And she can... Oh god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's just constantly out there the entire fight. And it ricochets off of my bullets. Oh god. Okay. I can already tell I'm not going to like this. <laughs> I guess I also need to learn how to dash under her cards. Oh no, it doesn't reflect off my bullets, it just blocks my shots. Oh god! <laughs> and she's got the slide kick too. Not a fan. Raymu, please stop playing... Oh god, what is that game called? Ow. Nope. I need to dash under those cards. There isn't any way for you to jump in between those. Oh dear. Okay, so I'm gonna have to... Yeah, the Ying Yang gets supremely fast when she just beats it to death. Ow. Please stop playing Pong with me, Reimu. I also can't get past you. I actively have to learn to just hold all three of these at the same time, don't I? Okay, that's new. Also, it does look like the Ying Yang Orb does disappear after a while. That quadrant spread is brutal. Yeah. Admittedly, the card spread is kind of rough. But you can at least dodge under the most horizontal card of it, so it's not the worst. But she does cover a lot of the screen at once. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, no. She's being nice, though. Oh, no. Um. There is technically the option to just kind of jump over her, too, which helps. Nope. Wait, can my dash also reflect it? No. Okay. That was just luck. Because she also hit it at the same time. Ow. I'm getting greedy. That's... Ah, oh, damn, that was close, too. I think one more level 3 charge shot would have done it there. Pop. But we can get it. We'll at least finish the Remu fight, and then we'll wrap up. I did kind of start late anyway, so... We may as well use the last 10 minutes that I should have had. Ow. Okay. Lethal League. That's the game I'm thinking of. Ow. Ow. Nope. I actually have to do that, don't I? Oh. Uh. Gonna head over here. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, Lethal League is the game she's doing with me. I just can't hit the ball back. Also, will recommend it because it's probably not a game I'm going to play on stream, but Lethal League and Lethal League Blaze are fun in local multiplayer and if you're bored and playing a very hard computer. Ow. Ow. Nope. Also, nope. This probably isn't going to go well. Yeah. Okay. So at least when she gets out that... What even is that going to be? It's technically about 10 shot volley out. The Yang Yang ball does go away. So she is absorbing most of her power to use that. So that's at least fair. Nope. Nope. 
Okay. Raymu, this is bullying. Uh. Ah, damn. Okay. I wonder if there's a way to change the controls. So then... Yeah, that will help a little bit more. Okay. Back. Let's see. In canon, there are two different spell cards. She can't use Fantasy Sail at the same time as Yokai Buster. Makes sense. It would be kind of cheating if she could use all of those at the same time. Ow. Nope. Gotta dodge that, Jude. Nope. Ow. Well, there's the fantasy seal. Wait, what? I can just dodge through that? Nope. Uh, I just need both of those buttons available. Also, can I dash through her slide kick? Hmm. I noticed that there. I didn't take damage from it when I dashed through it. Okay, no, I do. I just got kind of unlucky. Maybe if she pings. Ow. Ow. Look, Raymu, if you want to play Lethal League, we can go play Lethal League. I'm sure no one's actually done a game version of that yet for you. Um. There we go. Got her. <laughs> Not the hardest thing in the world, but god damn, that is a lot of screen clearing potential on her. Uh, Earth, Earth means a lot to me too. Please just let me handle this, Remu. Ah, uh, just go already. Uh, should have slept some more. Do we want to just see if we can finish this in one night? Next is Junko. No, I'm not dealing with a Master of Space and Time tonight. <laughs> we'll have to do the rest of this next time, but it makes sense that this is a two-stream game. Oi. I didn't really expect it to be too much more than two streams. So I'll have to see if we can get Mistia working, just in case. Ow. Also, my hands are just hurting, so I don't think I can handle much more. <laughs> oh well. do at least want to thank Swift for dropping by. Thank you again to Puppy for the raid. Uh, that is the end of my default stream week, at the very least. Also, it's 25 degrees outside. It is midnight. What the fuck is going on? Oh, well. Let's see. Who's live? Pigeon's live. Although, me rating someone with 70 viewers with 5 seems a little bit nearby. And thank y'all for joining. It's always nice to have some people experiencing the pain with me. Let's see here. Who else do I know is on? Oh, hey, Zay is on. They could do that. There's Frank if you're looking for lower viewer count. I don't follow Frank on my VTuber account, but yeah, we could go there as well. But we also don't get to bug... Ow, fuck. Okay, yeah, thumbs are hurting. Ow. <laughs> okay, didn't think I was going to be that bad. Commodore Frank. Thank you. I 
I won't die or anything, but... Hmm. God, that hurt. I forgot how much just thumb control you need for Mega Man games. And that honestly hurt a lot more than I figured it would. So, raid 1, raid 2, raid... Commodore Frank. Let's just hope Frank doesn't end before this raid goes through, because he has been going for close to, well, three hours or so. So that's fair. Either way, thank you everybody for joining. Hopefully you do have a great rest of your night. And I'll have to talk with you. Let's see here. I guess next Wednesday. So, have fun, and bye bye